Uh, yeah, greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Johnny of the Super Gamer Brothers, and once again, it's a Sega Saturn game. <laughs> you know what that means? Ross might be here. <laughs> oh, hell, not yeah, again. Yeah, no, no. It's like, what is this? <laughs> who is this? Who keeps inviting him? <laughs> Nobody watched Journey of Dreams. I was like, fuck you. Yeah, hey, I did. That was a lot of people that yeah, watched I, Journey I, I of Dreams. Yeah, I like Journey of Dreams. You know? Well, guys, you've seen me night. You've seen me night journey. Now you're just going to see me clockwork night. night. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's sort of like... The, Night, right? <laughs> oh, you might call me a night rider. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we got yet another Sega Saturn game for you guys. Uh, you say you spent like twenty five bucks with this at uh, Too Many Games, right? I did. Uh, and so I had the game previously. It was one of the one of the early games that I had for the Sega Saturn, and the I don't know what happened to my copy. I think it broke in half. I don't know. That and Bug, those two, or not not Bug, the second Bug game, Bug 2, T-O-O, because, you know, we're all ironic and shit in Sega. Yeah. So, um, I, my copy broke, and so I'm like, I don't know what the hell it is, so I'm, I went and bought a new copy. Has a, um, all of the stuff that you might expect. Has the manual, has everything, and I'm like, yeah, why not? So, um, this game actually came out before Toy Story. <laughs> And I say that because, I, I want you guys all to know that, because I don't want anyone out there saying, oh, look, Sega did another copycat thing here. He's writing on Toy Story's wooden dick. Actually, this guy's wooden knows what Toy Story was writing on. Meets, <laughs> yeah, sir. I'm sure, I'm sure that's what they were doing. <laughs> this, this guy has the best name ever. He is Sir Tangara de Pepperocho III. Uh, most people just call him Pepper. Exactly. <laughs> Some call him Pepper. Some call him Pepper. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it just wouldn't be a Sega Saturn game without a sixty fucking minute long intro. It is this one. This one goes a bit. This one's long. It's fair. It's pretty long. So what's the story here? Like, what's going on? So this person, the girl up here that you see, Tongara or Pepper, hey, going go. all you... crazy for. And... Oh, wait, wait, you saw that? Mm-hmm. Fucking a side glance. She's jealous. She's the culprit of this fucking game, isn't she? By the way, also before ten years before you would see Keyblades in Kingdom Hearts. This is where they got it. Both <laughs> Ginger and Tongara have Keyblades. The Suya and Nabora really Bam. like Clockwork Knight. It's like, you know what? I can. They had something going with that Keyblade, but two of the Saturn died. <laughs> but I, 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 I can do something with this. I can make and this maybe, work. And maybe, maybe the baseball. <laughs> but not until Kingdom Hearts 2. Not until Kingdom Hearts 2. So, that girl up there, her name is Chelsea. Basically, at midnight every night, she wakes all the toys up, and they go out and have a great time. If you can hear the song in the background, that's what the whole thing's about. But there's no dialogue here, so they it's kind of a cool thing. They do show you everything you need to know just through pictures. So, you know, through the video. Moving images, yeah. So that's kind of, that is kind of a cool thing. Um, so they're all having a good time, and then... uh oh. It's Thor! Book it! <laughs> We've upset the my, gods. My... My nose feels something happen. Yeah, we, this is unnatural, and then we're being punished for it. <laughs> Clockwork Knight. They took her. She oh, was son of a taken. taken from me. <laughs> no. Some of the clockwork is just not fucking Liam Neeson. <laughs> yeah. So they ride on their noble steeds, which is a basket with a b- bottle in it and then a hairbrush. With a, <coughs> Who puts a fucking horse head on the top of a hairbrush? <laughs> ah, but the... But the, the main boss of the world gets all these guys to go... It's the nuts. Toy Fuzz bucket! Yeah. Oh no! Actually, I think this is supposed to insinuate that they're being mind controlled. Exactly. I right, know it's not. They're not being arrested. They're not <laughs> being not what arrested. That was. Okay. Clockwork Night. Yes. Released in Japan in 1994, late 1994, like December, and then we got it at uh, around May of 1995, uh, like full five, five, six months before Toy Story came out. Yeah. In, uh, November of 1995. How do you like how the eyebrows move when you like choose starter <laughs> option? Exactly. So, what's your history with? Uh, clockwork night like why oh yeah you know because i, I really do like if there's, there's one person that keep constantly shows off what the saturn library is it's you yeah and there's not a lot of other people out there that do yeah. I mean, there's a couple <laughs> but uh not i think we're i think i'm the best no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah i'm just kidding real quick i'm dropping into the options so first time i played this game i did a quick test play and uh, i wanted to make sure i'm good there's a training mode which is really really easy i'm doing it on normal uh, there's also a hard mode. It's just I don't really feel the necessity to really nah, challenge myself that much. In I don't hard believe mode. this is a game with multiple endings of any sort. No, no. There's just there's only one ending. Actually, just, like just to uh, just to break it down for you folks, because uh, I was I was observing Russ playing the game uh, as we're uh, getting ready for this let's play. Uh, Clockwork Knight is 
uh, I would say was jumping on the pre-rendered bandwagon that Donkey Kong Country and Super Mario RPG really laid the foundation for, for 2D platformers, Clockwork Knight is really no different. And as a game, I would say Clockwork Knight doesn't really break any new ground. No. As far as we're aware, it's just a run-of-the-mill 2D platformer with pre-rendered graphics and... Uh, so was granted, like, it's not that's not that's not a bad thing. You know, if it's a no, solid no. game, then you know it's a solid game. I'm just saying, if you're expecting something zany and kooky and heartless and nobody's roaming around because Clock, because uh, Liam Neeson here is secretly a Keyblade warrior. So I did that on purpose. On the bottom left hand of my screen, uh, you'll see three little gears. The one's missing because I got hit. These little gears are my health. So you start off with three hits. Um, I have ma um, one major attack like that. If I if I keep tapping the B button, he'll spin. Uh, obviously, you can jump in this game. You can run by double tapping on a direction. And if you, while you're running, or you hold in the attack button, you'll do a thing. You'll you'll do a stab. But if you keep holding in, if you run it into something that is inanimate at the moment, they will be. Um, you can pick them up and throw them. Nice. That glowing ball is an invincibility pallet. So. So you can you pick up things like in Mario 2 USA. You can bam, stab bam, things bam, like in bam. Castlevania. You got invincibility power up like fucking Sonic. Woo! I think he may be a little conflicted here, Liam Neeson. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> My identity was taken. <laughs> All of it was taken. All of it was taken. <laughs> the silver one, so the bron bronze ones give you two, or uh, one hit back. The silver ones give you two. You can kneel down too and hit someone like that. So you get, kind of knock them out for a sec and then you can kill them. Um, like Wait, why the fuck did I say Castlevania? You're stabbing things like Zelda 2, The day. Adventure of Link. Always leave that stuff ready. You never know when you'll need it. Uh, Car. <laughs> so one of the things that is really annoying, uh, and we, we're, we're not obviously right now, but uh, if there is actually a sequel to this game, which we'll talk about at a, at a later time, but um, one of the things about Pepperocho that is really annoying is his attack. This is the only way I can attack directly to the side. Yeah. I have two attack angles. I have no other attack angles. So if something is coming at me from a diagonal above, below, well, I'm just screwed. Yeah, just got to reposition yourself. To hopefully get a better vantage point, but unfortunately, uh, just from observation, correct me if I'm wrong on this one, uh, Pepper here looks like he suffers a bit from butter on his feet. He does. Now, it's not so bad. There is a, a world later. With some, it's far worse. But yeah, there is a, there is a little bit of a slick, slickness to him. So I'm not, this is the end of the first uh, level. You'll see the L is missing. So there's a little platform that's beyond that blue ball I'm about to hit. I have to run and jump. If I don't jump before the blue thing, it'll... I, I ran into the blue thing. It won't count. Yeah. But you also, the things were also moving. And I missed by one. So That's I got a, the that, L. That looks, because because of the, the way the thing is obscured by the camera, it, it's like a crap shot every time. It is. It is. Um, you can kind of control a little bit in air, kind of like a Mario, where, like, in, in his platforming stages, where, like, you can a little bit control where he lands. Yeah. But again, it is a little slick. So every world is uh, two levels and then a boss fight. So. This isn't a long game. There's four total worlds, and again, you're looking at two two levels and then a boss fight. So you're really not having too much problem. Hey, hey obey the blocks. Walk. There we go. You can throw the th throw the football. You know, very useful. Pick it up. Throw it. Bam. And there are certain things where you can get. Um, can I run left here. I can't run. Yes, I can. Nice visibility. Yeah. Just fucking book it. Yeah, pretty much. You can jump on top of that blue shelf. Fuck it. My girlfriend was taken. <laughs> she was taken, taken from me. God damn it. Oh god, I don't like either of these things. Shit. There's no way around that one. Uh, so at the top left hand corner, there is time. You are timed in these matches. Although it really should never come into play. Uh, those clocks give you more time. So you notice when I got those clocks, my time meter went up. Um, oh, the girl's name is Chelsea. Yeah, her name is Chelsea. Che Chelsea. 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 Okay, what about uh, what about the other girl? We just ran past her name. Can you go back for a bit? Uh, yeah, sure. I can just barely read it with these fucking. Soltia. Soltia. She's, she's, she's a perfume bottle. She's a she's a perfume bottle. She's a perfume bottle. She uh, if you saw a little thing, she has a little thing for Pepper. Um, she likes to sneeze a lot, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. Visual pun. Take. <laughs> so the, what? Uh, so oh, the, the gold one there. Now you notice I have four hits. The gold one gives you an extra hit. You can have up to five. Hmm. So that's again kind of a, a nice little thing. Um, but yeah, it's, I mean, again, it's it, it. Like John said, it really is a run-of-the-mill platformer, uh, similar to a stall. Um, 
I, they're definitely different styles of game. I think Astal did a lot more visually yes, interesting I would say. than this did. Oh, so these things you see me, little pepperocho. You can hold B again. You can push. You can pull just after while holding B, like that. Any love? Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, all right, pull this out so I can grab the thing and keep running. You just keep going, fucking yeah. bucket man. Ba -da -ba. Ba -da -ba. As with all Sega games, it is a pretty awesome soundtrack. Yeah, it's pretty. It sounds it's like peppy. it sounds like live music. Yeah, like it really is. Like it's not no synthesized shit here. Like they got like a like a full big band ensemble for this soundtrack. You know, very ambitious. Yeah, it really uh, is for the time. And it was again. I, don't, I can't remember if it was exactly a launch title for the Saturn, but it was near there. It was it had to be near there because ninety five, like early ninety five. Like, yeah, that's when America got the Saturn. Yeah, so I mean, it was so if not launch, then launch window definitely. Yeah. But again, it's, 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 you're definitely right, but very ambitious. And again, like, I don't know which game I technically like more. Probably a stall, because I've played it a lot more. Because it is a little, the thing with uh, this game is it's definitely a little harder. Um, with some of the controls. Oh, I'm already at the end of this one. Need the O. Need the O. Ah. Hey, this is like, you can't really, uh, Judge. Oh. Yeah. Uh. There's a way that you can kind of get to the edge of this and then, like, run and jump. But you don't have as much things. So if the, uh, as much, obviously, momentum carrying you. So, if the letter you need is at the end, then you're not going to get it anyways. It's like, well, I'll just run and jump and hope for so the best. So, we actually have the manual here because Russ got pretty much the full package deal. I did. It even had the game. foam. It had the foam rectangle to, yeah, to save damn. the disc. So it actually has a little plot synopsis here. So, so we can cover any detail with that to you finish yeah. like what you're about to do. Yeah, so this is... Ooh, boss fight. I know, we're already at the boss fight. This thing is creepy as hell. I also thought this game was kind of creepy, so it's also why we're doing this in October. So, I mean, this game, uh, there are some creepy uh, design choices in here. This guy has a top hat and a little coat, and uh, I, I keep uh, penetrating him. Why is he shaking his fist at you, fucker? This, this is my house! You can see Chelsea. He's winded. Maybe because that fucking hat is like Way six too times too big for him. Keeps getting trapped Check this in out. it. Look at this shit. Look at that. Look at look. Look at his head just rolling around. What's I'm going not gonna on? lie. When I was a kid, this freaked the hell Dude, out. Dude, it would freak the fuck out of me too because it's now he's suddenly missing his body. There it is, right there. Ah, Check this out. it's on backwards. It's off. And, fuck. and it just falls off. <laughs> man, what a fucked up life. I know, man. Right? Yeah. There's a lot of really creepy design choices in this game. It's, I mean, again, it's not really meant to be. I don't think. I think it's just the way the well, graphics the, are rendered. You know, you know, innocence and you know. The, the dissonance in mm -hmm. terms of innocence with the the design of the toys because what was the norm back then because now just be fucking disturbing as all shit exactly in today's day and age look at that look at that look at that it was <laughs> like yeah, I'm watching you <laughs> so you you thought Luigi had a mean look yeah I was like <laughs> fucking hell Pepper is not for some blood and, and they're toys <laughs> so there's a little game that happens at the end so all those little bottle caps you see yeah those those silver things are not coins there are bottle caps. Uh, you can use this for a gambling game with the perfume lady, uh, <laughs> Saltia, which is actually a pretty cool name. Uh, you can do up to 15 if you have that many. I don't ever go for them because I don't really need anything. Uh, you'll see um, the the clown things, the ha the silver things. Excuse me, let me do this real quick. Yeah. Now I'll explain it. Uh, I used to be a lot better at these things than I am now. Uh, that doesn't seem to be moving too fast, though, to be honest. No, you, you can kind of keep up with it. I don't, I don't have the eyes that I used to. So that's an extra life. The one that's a red ball, that's a um, that's two lives. Now here's the other thing. If you win or get something, you can double or you can play it safe and just go with what you have. Obviously it's double or nothing. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I'll double, double. double. I'll double one time. The first times I remember being a little easier, there'll be a lot of times twos. Yeah. So I literally aim for that middle middle in the top right. So that way if I if I do lose one, it's not too bad. Uh, there's a little bit of mind fuckery there. Yeah. Are you able to keep an eye on anything? I think so. I think it's this one. Oh, uh, because I think I got one. Nope. No, I was looking at that one to the to the left. Yeah. So no big deal. I mean, again, I, I, I feel pretty confident. I don't really need too many extra lives. Some of the harder worlds you'll see later, they do uh, give you some ways around losing too many lives. They yeah. have some hidden lives that as long as you know where to go, you can always kind of have one. So 